Hello everyone, welcome to the channel update for April. Let's dive right in because it's going to be pretty busy this month. Uh, of course, on the stuff that we've got already uh, in progress, Crusader Kings 2, Smash the Patriarchy, having lots of fun with that. It's going very well. Um, current character has decided to uh, not follow in his ancestors' paths and, and worship Satan and has joined the Hermetic Society, which is an amazing society. It's a lot of fun, except for that whole being imprisoned for um, most of the video. Um, but other than that, I think that this is going to probably be my default uh, society whenever I can uh, manage it. Um, the Adventures in Arcane Space videos are also going up uh, after the Saturday streams. Um, I did want to ask about the format of the scheduling. Um, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about having them up in a timely manner so that people can catch up if they miss a stream. Uh, so this past week I put two episodes up a day uh, for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, previous to that I'd done like three episodes, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and I'm, I was just a little concerned about, you know, would people have enough time? And so I would like to get some feedback on how that's working out for people who are actually watching it. Um, it's not getting fantastic views, uh but it is a little bit more niche than a lot of stuff that I post, and the episodes are long, and uh, a number of people are coming out to the stream. So, um, you know, I mean, it kind of all works against getting large numbers of views, but uh, I, I was curious about, you know, for those who can't catch the streams or are watching it a second time or something like that, um, do you like the scheduling so far? Do you not like the scheduling so far? I could put everything up on one day, spread out. Um, I would like to get some feedback on that, uh, you know, for those watching. Uh, let's see. Grandia going strong, and Mass Effect also going strong. Mass Effect will be wrapping up in the middle of the week. Uh, not, not middle of the week, middle of the month, I'm sorry. Uh, somewhere around the 14th, I think. Maybe it's the 16th. I can't remember. But it's around there. Um, Grandia is probably got another month in it. Uh, it's a lot longer than I recalled, uh, and that's not terribly surprising considering how little I remembered from the game when I last played it in 1999. Almost 20 years ago. Oh lord, I am old. Yeah. Anyway, um, but I'm still having a lot of fun with it, and uh, it's still uh, getting good views, so uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, Mass Effect, not so much. I mean, the views are, are uh, minuscule at this point, but uh, I do have some loyal people watching those every every day and, and commenting, so I very much appreciate that. And, you know, I mean, I, I was doing it, all, you know, mainly for the stream and everything like that, and, and it's kind of, you know, who hasn't played Mass Effect kind of thing, so. But, uh, regardless, um... I had fun with it. I'm looking forward to eventually doing Mass Effect 2 and then Mass Effect 3. No plans on exactly when yet, but uh, they will come eventually. Um, quick note as well. Uh, that's not what I wanted to be on. I wanted to be on... Here. Uh, so, about a week ago, I posted a preview uh, of the pre-alpha version of All Walls Must Fall. Um, I would like to get a little bit more feedback on, you know, what people thought of, you know, one episode previews of upcoming games. Um, I'm getting a few keys every now and then for, for games like this, so, you know, if you guys would like to see more of that, let me know. Uh, I do sometimes talk about it in Discord if you want to hear about that beforehand, maybe voice some opinion. Um, you know, join the Discord channel and, and keep an eye out for comments along those wa those lines. Um, I initially wasn't planning on playing it, but talking to some other people in uh, on Discord and checking out um, you know, some more information about it, uh, you know, decided to give it a try and post a video. And it, it turned out to be a lot more fun than I expected, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's very unpolished. It's pre-alpha, but it's functional. So, um, you know, if, if people checked out the preview and do want to see 
you know, full Let's Play when it's out, uh, definitely let me know. I'll keep an eye on the game and, um, you know, consider it when it comes out. Um, but that also brings up an another thing. For, for videos like that, where, you know, it's a one-episode preview or the first thing of Crusader Kings 2 or the first video for the upcoming Stellaris Utopia uh, series, um, the likes and comments really do help it show up in search results. Um, there, it, and especially for something like All Walls Must Fall, there aren't very many videos out there right now for it. Um, I think when I put that up, there were less than 10, uh, at least in, in the vein of a preview kind of thing. Um, so the more people who, you know, like it and, and comment on the video itself, um, the higher it'll show up in the search results. And for something like that, which, you know, the game isn't out yet, when it does come out, you know, people will be searching for it and they'll come across a video, lead them to the channel, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, if you guys can... can uh, like the videos when they, uh, you know, when I do stuff like that for Crusader Kings 2, Stellaris, that sort of thing, uh, Expeditions Viking, uh, it'll really help get more people into the channel and getting, you know, more views and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of my, my request and, and spiel for uh, the ways that you guys, as the viewers, can help me out, help out the channel directly. Um which does bring up, uh, bring me to, you know, what we're going to be doing this month. Um, I've already been talking about Expeditions Viking. I've been talking about it every month because I'm super excited about that game. But it's out at the end of the month. Um, what's coming out next week is Stellaris Utopia. And I've got it already. I've got the, uh, the code. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of it. And the videos will be going live on Monday. They're embargoed until then. Um, so I will probably do much what I did with, uh, Crusader Kings 2 and put up, uh, three episodes probably on Monday for that. And, um, you know, two episodes up until the release date, and then after that, one episode a day kind of thing. Um, it's mainly so that, you know, when people do a search, you know, hopefully they'll get a, you know, they'll see that I already have a bunch of videos, and rather than go watch someone who only has one or two, they'll you know, choose to watch the person who has seven or eight. Um, so that's kind of my hope. Uh, so that, you know, leads into the more likes and comments you guys can leave on the videos, the better I will be positioned for, you know, capturing a lot of the uh, the search results for, for the game. It helped a ton with Crusader Kings 2. Um, that, the first episode of that has already surpassed 4,000 views. Um, the Stellaris Leviathans, uh, same thing. Uh, it didn't grow as fast as the Crusader Kings 2, but um, it is doing extremely well for the channel still, uh, and I'm expecting good things from uh, Stellaris Utopia. And the more you guys can help me out in that, the better off uh, it will be and I will be. And it's just this, uh, you know, happy, happy feedback loop um, of you guys helping me out and me putting out more videos that you enjoy. So... Um, but that's just two of the things that are coming this month. There is a third, and uh, it is somewhat of a surprise. Just announced uh, on the 30th, Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition. That will be coming out on the, the 11th. So, less than two weeks. You know, uh, and they had a, a countdown on their site for like four or five days. So it's like two weeks from announcement to uh, publishing. So it's pretty awesome um, in terms of, you know, how quickly they're, they're doing this. Uh, I, I think there was, I mean, in Discord we were talking about it. And um, a few months ago someone found a, uh, a link to an article where Beamdog was... Uh, you know, advertising for playtesters. So that kind of, that gave us, a, you know, a, a clue that they were working on something, um, but I wasn't expecting it to be this quick. And as much as, much as I suspected Planescape Torment might be it, there are a couple other things it could have been too, so. Um, but uh, yeah, I will be playing that. So we've got a whole bunch of new stuff that's, you know, like outside of the normal scheduling coming uh, this month. Um 
super excited, but I'm going to be super busy. Uh, but it will be a lot of fun. And in the same vein as this, of course, I've got uh, the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition stream that I'm doing on uh, over on Twitch on Mondays. Uh, now, it's not uh, a full... Or I'm trying to think of how the best way to put it. it it's... The whole goal is to get Elmandretta, who I used for my primary playthrough of uh, the original Baldur's Gate, right here, this playthrough. Um, it's to get her ready for Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Um, I did some experimenting, and found, I, I decided that that would be the best way to uh, get into, you know, get the same character from the original Baldur's Gate into the Enhanced Edition, is to just play through Baldur's Gate 1 Enhanced Edition. Because uh, it doesn't like to import very well. I, It, it doesn't like it. Um, so, the, uh, the stream, I right now I'm waffling on whether I post it here on YouTube. The videos are archived over on Twitch, and it's more of a fun stream than, you know, like Mass Effect, which was, you know, was be getting posted over here. Um, I may, I mean, it is going to include some of the new stuff, so... I don't know. But if I do, it's not going to be like what I did with Mass Effect and cut up the stream into, uh, you know, like, half-hour episodes. Uh, I will be, if I do post it here on YouTube, they will be the full-blown whole stream sessions as one episode, so multiple hours all at once. Um, you know, if you guys really, really want to, want me to post them here, you know, let me know, and I'll do so. Um, you know, if enough people comment that they want that to happen. Uh, otherwise, just, you know, head over to Twitch and uh, check the uh, archived videos uh, if you want to watch them. And just, you know, come out to the stream and, and watch me... Uh, have my wild mage summon Nabasus multiple times in one stream, because that's a thing that happens. Oh, Nira, Nira, Nira. <sighs> so much fun. Anyway, um, so that's what's going on Mondays on, on the streams. Of course, Saturday, which is the day this goes up, um, the Spelljammer campaign. Um, come check out those. And I was initially uh, a while ago talking about uh, an EU4 learning stream and um, a stream for uh, AU versus Titans, I'm probably going to put that off for a little while. Um, you know, maybe until uh, <laughs> I don't have Crusader Kings 2, Stellaris, Expeditions Viking, and uh, Planescape Torment all going on at the same time. So, super busy month coming up. I hope you guys are prepared. You know, maybe uh, uh, make sure that you've got enough sick leave to call in sick a couple days and, and just do nothing but watch my videos, that sort of thing. Uh, I, I'm sure your your employers will understand. Um, but that's uh, that's the channel. Um, you know, lots of news, uh, lots of ongoing stuff. Over on my blog, being a new month, I do have a new deity for those who enjoy reading these. Um, this is for Sermonaire the Selkie Queen. Uh, a bit different than some of the other stuff that uh, I've had going up. Certainly we've moved beyond the dragons now, so uh, we've got lots of different stuff now. Uh, good variety. Um, and then over on Patreon, uh, this is uh, another way that uh, those of you can show you know, direct support for the channel, besides the uh, likes and comments uh, of videos. Uh, shares also help, you know, sharing on, on Twitter and, and Facebook and stuff, but... I understand if, you know, not everyone wants to, you know, clutter up feeds with uh, stuff like that. Uh, comments and likes definitely do help quite a bit. Um, but Patreon is a way to, you know, directly support me. Um, you know, $1 a month, that's $12 a year. You know, maybe a, a meal at... Uh, or a meal or two at, at a fast food restaurant or something like that, a pizza. Uh, it's not very much. And it's a way that, you know, if a thousand people who are subscribed to my vi my channel and watching my videos do just the one dollar, I will have very few monetary needs. Um, obviously, you know, 
more than just one dollar helps even more. You know, two dollars. That's only twenty-four, do- you know, dollars a year. It- it's really, really helpful, and it's a way to, you know, directly support the channel, directly support me, put food on my table, help me buy new computer equipment when I need it, that sort of thing. Um, you know, it, it, I I really do appreciate it, and I I can't express you know fully what it means when when people uh, decide to support me with uh, one dollar, two dollars, or five dollars, or even more. It, it's it, it's really a tremendous feeling that that to know that people get that kind of enjoyment out of you know me playing a game and joking about it and commenting on it and doing goofy voices and reading the text and stuff like that. Um, it really does mean a lot. I mean, the idea that, that, uh, you guys out there enjoy it enough that you're willing to give me money for it, it's, it really is a tremendous feeling. Um, and I want to thank right now those of you who have been doing so. Uh, you guys mean a lot to me. Uh, if you haven't yet, you know, come by the Discord channel, say hi, join in the conversation. Um, it's not terribly busy right now there aren't a whole lot of people in there uh talking all the time so it doesn't get uh you know too cluttered and i am there it's a way to you know directly talk to me uh if you are actually interested in doing so which you know admittedly not everyone probably is some of you just want to see the videos that's fine too but uh to directly thank those of you who are supporting me on patreon uh, arden kell ashley calarohe chris ayate uh, Felix Schmidt, G-Man number 99, James Bantz, Kijikun, Laris Magpie, Little Lila, Nancy, Paul William, Peter Holtgrew, Pokemon Fan 69, Rasmus Holm Jensen, Remy, Ritterin, Shannon McAuliffe, Terrence Rokop, Thomas Legendy, T. Cole, and Zappa Slave. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Fantastic. If you're not in the um, Discord channel, come on by. Say hi. And, uh, To wrap everything up, I hope you're prepared for this month. There's going to be a lot going on. See you in the next video, everyone. And if you're watching this uh, roughly when it goes live, shortly thereafter, see you in the stream today. More uh, Spelljammer. It is not going to be a comedy stream. It's it's going to be a a serious stream. We're not going to be doing something goofy for April Fools. Don't worry. I don't really go for April Fools. Uh, And and for those of you... uh, who gets snared into a false story or something like that, I am really sorry. It's a terrible thing. Just remember, if it's too good to be true on this day, it is. See you next time, everyone.